Hey everyone, it's Judy Lee here, and I wanted to show you, I went to Teresa's house, uh, my friend Teresa, she don't do videos or anything, but um, she likes to do some crafts, so we went over to her house, and we spent the whole day um, dyeing stuff, and she got half of them, and I got half of them, and I just wanted to show y'all what we did. First, we did some coffee dyeing. It's just rings for coffee. Uh, then we did some bubbles that I showed her how to do. And we did some with the uh, it's instant jello stuff. And it was berry blue, I think is what it was called. Anyway, I did the blue. I did the pink. Uh, I don't know what that was strawberry I think I brought did a few of those there's another blue and as you can see I love the sales it makes that one didn't turn out too good that was one of the first ones I did and that one of course didn't do much of anything but you can still see some blue there's a coffee dyed bubble one or tea dyed that's tea dyed I think now this is the tea dyed tea dyed one. I love these sales. Another tea dyed one. Or coffee. I don't know which one's which. And then we dyed some of these papers. They were already old and fragile. Um, I took them out because there's poems and stuff. And it was from an old book. And then I had these from a friend of mine. Um, they're just medicine bags. Um, and I wanted to make them look a little older, so we coffee dyed those. And all these are coffee and tea dyed. Um, we even did some envelopes. Did some envelopes. It's another sheet. And this one I uh, tea dyed, and it didn't do much of anything. Uh, looks purple. <laughs> Here's a coffee dyed thick sheet of cardstock. And then I did some pink on maps. And I did a blue graph. And this was a paper I did. And like I say, it was very fragile and it tore. But I'm still going to use it. Pieces. These are all coffee and tea stained. We did them in her oven. And as you can tell, they're crinkly. And she gave me. Um, she had one of these pads um, with a little bear, and uh, I wanted them darker, so I did a few of those. Kept some normal. Um, so those turned out really good. And then I had some of these. Um, these are what do you call them? Um, I forgot what they're called. They're called. Uh, uh, hold on just a second. I'm looking. I got the thing here. Um, you're supposed to use the origami. These are origami sheets um, that you're supposed to color and then fold into different things. And uh, so I coffee dyed some of those. As you can see, some of it worked, some of it didn't. And then we took some old. Uh, notebook paper I had, did some of those, you know, they're all crinkly, I love it, this one turned out really good, I left it in there a pretty good while, these are some pages out of a flower manual that I got, and as you can see, some of those changed, um, there's another one I did pink, and it got some of the coffee on it from in the thing, um, another sheet, this one, I tea dyed and it didn't do much, so I put it in the blue and it did a little. Um, looks better on screen than it does in person. <laughs> um, and I thought these turned out really good and I gave her a lot of those. And then I strawberry dyed that one. This one's blue. Some more coffee dyed ones. A uh, piece of that paper. And here's a blue one. I dyed in the blue. And 
this was one she had stamped on and I wanted it so I got it <laughs> and there's another coffee dyed graph some more uh, dictionary paper more graphs I love these crunchy 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 papers and here's some more we died a whole lot I mean I sit there and we died from I think it was around 4 so about 10 30 something like that so that's the first one I had done in the strawberry and that's the first one I did in the blue they were very light so we added to it and I did this one it's a coloring sheet out of a coloring book um, I brought a couple of those um, but um, it didn't you know it was fragile it kind of cracked a couple of times but then there was a lot of these papers um, there's a blue one of the bear pink one of the bear and a couple more of the coffee dye see that one's coffee this one's tea and then this was just a hard piece of paper that I did and it didn't work um come out of that book I believe and then a pink uh, dictionary a blue flower another lighter blue flower pink flower and another bear that was tea dyed and then a pink envelope and another tea dyed envelope but that's it folks and I wanted to show you I don't know I don't think I showed this the other day but I got this to put on my front door it says bunny kisses and Easter wishes and I thought that was so pretty and um I love it it's not I don't think it's Woodwood but I got it from Dollar General I thought it was really pretty uh, but anyway Thank you for watching, and as always, no, there's Vader, and my hair's wet, I just got out of the shower a little bit ago, and he's wanting to be petted, of course, and my hands are all dyed, I've been, I took a shower, I've scrubbed them, I've soaked them, and it's just going to take a while, but anyway, back to that. Hope y'all have a great week and the weekend, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.